Welcome back to our coverage of the IMF Africa Rising Conference. With me now is Seth Terper, the Minister of Finance of Ghana. Mr. Terper, thank you for joining me. Thank you very much. And, uh, Your country has been experiencing some economic difficulties on the fiscal deficit over the last uh, few months. Um, could you tell us what is the situation and what you are trying to do to bring down the deficit? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> the last thing we did was to uh, go to Parliament with a consolidation of all the measures that you know had gone through the House because we realized that one of the issues facing us is because we had implemented the measures over a period of uh, eight months, the market was so short setting. So consolidating them, you know, has now given a better appreciation of the measures that we are taking in comparison with the last two IMF programs, you know, that um, we did. <coughs> Coincidentally, we also went through the Article 4, you know, consultations with the IMF. And as part of those deliberations, the president has us to submit, you know, the measures that we are implementing on our own, which we call homegrown policies, you know, to the IMF board as part of their decision, you know, uh, on the uh, country's Article 4. So that has been taken on board. Uh, the board has suggested that we should do a couple of things, um, uh, improve on the timelines for achieving some of the goals within our medium term, you know, prospects, and that is what we are doing. In fact, we are finished with that, and we'll be submitting it, you know, to the development partners, the markets, and, mm -hmm. and to the IMF. That means that you, you are not going to go into a full, full blown program with the IMF? No, I think our position has always been consistent. What we decided to do. Uh, in view of the fact that we had just hesitated a, a program in 2012, was to uh, give the causes of the overrun in the deficit, you know, to the public. And we identified uh, six major ones, four of them very important, being the disruption in gas, you know, supply, the second one <coughs> being the fall in gold and cocoa prices, and then also the fact that uh, in our first full year of crude oil exports, in the estimates that were made, of about 90,000, we could realize only 83,000. Finally, there was a wage policy, you know, which also, also saw some overruns. We have been monitoring this mm. over time, and we have implemented measures, you know, to correct them. There have been improvements. <coughs> the wage to tax ratio has gone down. Uh, crude oil supplies have been restored, you know, from about 83,000 barrels per day to over 110,000 barrels per day. And then we are also going into the cocoa season. Cocoa prices have stabilized. Uh, and so we are hopeful, you know, that uh, we'll be able to do the correction. There has been a lot of speculation in the, in the market about whether Ghana will issue a sovereign bond in 2014 or not. What are your plans? Well, as a first step, we went to Parliament. Because we have to go to Parliament for every loan, major loan that we take, we went to Parliament and got approval, you know, to go to the markets. Uh, with the purpose of refinancing and then also financing our capital budget, you know, fully from longer tenor, you know, instruments. So that program is on course. In fact, as we speak, we are about to make an announcement uh, within the next couple of days about the advisors who will be selected to help us. And then once the advisors have been appointed, it is only the advisors that will tell us whether on account of emerging markets, on a count of developed country <coughs> factors like tapering or whether EU does, sorry, whether the ECB does uh, quantitative easing, any of those factors, whether or on account of our own spreads, whether we should go into the market this year or not. Otherwise, you know, the plan remains what we took to Parliament. But you still, if, if the advisors indicate that it's possible, your plan is still to tap the market this year? Yes, because of the reasons that I gave. You know, the refinancing of our 2017 <coughs> bond gradually is a very important factor for us. The fact that we want to finance our capital budgets from long term instruments. Remember, we spoke about, you know, the deficit. One reason for the deficit is the high interest rates we are paying on financing capital projects from the short end of the market. So, a major correction is to go to the longer, you know, for longer tenor, you know, our instruments supported by a sinking fund arrangement that we are going to be putting in place from our supplies, you know. So we have very good reasons for going to the market. It's not just about, you know, um, going uh, for the sake of going. 
Mr. Terper, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome.